Bang. Angelina here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this look on my face right now. I just wanted to create a green emerald smoky eye and I wanted to try the new technique of people like cutting the crease with some liner. So I did that on these eyeballs. So if you are interested in seeing how to get this look then make sure to just stay tuned. So starting off this tutorial I'm just going to prime my face and the first primer I'm going in with it's a Makeup Forever step one equalizer in smoothing and it's just going to really smooth down my pores and fill them in. I also want to go in with my second primer and this is just to have an illuminating base. It is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Base Pure Light Primer and I just really want that radiant glowy skin with the foundation I'm wearing today. So I'm just going to dot this on. It would just really brighten up the look because this is quite a smoky eye look today that I'm going to create. And I'm just going to blend that primer in with my Jessup Duo Fiber Powder Flush Brush. And this also really creates a nice taku base for my foundation to lie on top. I'm just going to let that primer settle into my skin so I'm just going to zoom you in and do my eyes. So for my eyes today I wanted to do like an emerald green smoky eye, maybe like try that silver cut crease, half cut crease, so I'm going to try that out today. So first of all I'm going to go into my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. First going to grab the shade Peach Smoothie and Cream Belay and just buff those into my crease first. and I'm using my Morphe M441 brush. And these will just work as a nice transition shade. I already did prime my eyes off camera and set them down with some translucent powder. Now we've added that base transition shade, we're going to go into the shade Chickadee and it is by Makeup Geek as well and I'm just going to buff that in and just really brighten up the crease. I've started buffing in the shade Cocoa Bear into my crease by Makeup Geek and I'm just using that on my Lux Soft Definer brush. And I'm just really focusing that on the out of it but slowly bringing it into the crease as well. I'm slowly just using this colour to add the depth. So I like to keep going back and forth into that uh, crease brush and adding Cocoa Bear on the outer V. And then I like to go back in with my first brush which had uh, Chickadee left over. And just buff that in, make sure it's all blended. I feel like when I get tired my voice gets really croaky, like I feel like that's what it is now. Like I've been talking to customers all day and I'm just like so over talking but I wanted to do a talk through because I've been like really liking them. For the lid shade, I'm first going to cut my crease with concealer and I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape with my Zoeva Smudger Brush. I just feel like this is the perfect brush to cut the crease because it's the shape it is. Like, it's just so tiny and stiff though. Yeah, I went there. To set that down, I'm going to go into my Seventina palette by Kat Von D and I'm going to grab the shade Sarab, this emerald green eyeshadow that is just like so beautiful, like I'm dying. I can't wait to put it on my lids and I'm just going to apply that straight on top. This does have fallout so that's why I didn't do my foundation before as well. Oh, this shade is so stunning. Now that I've applied the emerald green, I'm just going to go in with a mixture of mocha and then um, corrupt and I'm just going to buff those into the outer V and like really blend it. Just pack it on there and then I'll start blending afterwards. The brush I'm going to use to blend is my Luxe Define Crease Brush. Just buff back and forth. I'm just going to deepen up that outer V with that shade Corrupt by Makeup Geek. Just 
pack that on that pencil brush. Just mixing a bit of the Cocoa Bear shade on the brush, I'm just helping that blend. And then going back in the pencil brush and deepening up that outer V. Lastly, just going back into Chickadee by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to buff that through my crease. I'm pretty happy with how the eyeshadow looks so far, so I'm just going to cut my crease. I'm using my NYX Glam Liner Aqua Lux Waterproof in this shade Glam Platinum. Just before you look up, just let it dry and make sure it's all good. So I've just zoomed you out so I can do the rest of my face and then move back to my eyes. So for foundation today, I'm going in with my Hello Flawless foundation in the shade Petal. I should not apply it straight to the brush because this is what creates packing and streak marks. But I am not smart. I always forget. For concealer today, I'm going back in with my Tarte Shape Tape. You know I love this so much, so I'm going to be using that to conceal my dark circles and also highlight my face. I actually use this concealer today and no foundation, and I realize it's that full coverage that it really just doesn't blend into my skin. Like, it's another layer of skin, but you can't feel it. Like, honestly, I can't feel it, but it's just like, whoa, thick as fuck. So I've just dampened my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend in that concealer. See this concealer is definitely like my non fake tan concealer. Because every time I did it with my fake tan foundation, it would just look super super crazy. Oh my gosh, damn it. It's so distracting and talking that I just roll in my face. To set my under eyes, I'm using my RCMA translucent powder and baking a little bit. I'm just pressing this in under my eyes and make sure I don't start creasing. Because I'm a crazy mofo. So I do not recommend this powder if you're going to take flash photography because I wore this powder at my sister's engagement. And we took heaps of flash photography because it was at night. And my face was so freaking white compared to my body. It was just embarrassing. Like, I can't believe how white it actually was. Like, I didn't actually realize until I saw the photos and I was like, God damn, that's got flashback. Like, God damn. It was so bad. Set so the rest of my face. I'm just going to use my Charlotte's Fresh and Flawless powder. You know how much I love this powder, like honestly, it's the balm.com. But I do like to do a light layer because I realize I think it's been caking up my skin a little bit just by adding it over a full coverage foundation. So be careful, yo. I want you. And I'm just wiping off that bakage too. To bronze up my face today, I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm going to be using my Morphe M523 brush, my favourite um, bronzer brush. And oh my gosh, I love this product so much. I forgot how good it was, but it smells so good. Like, honestly, I'm craving chocolate right now so badly. It's so good. It's so bomb. It's so bomb. So when you apply way too much and it doesn't want to fucking blend, don't play me bronzer, don't fucking play me after I complimented you. 
Oh, boom. Cheekbone, there you are. FYI, if you do not know, it is made out of cocoa powder. That's why I'm like going berserk. Go over crisps like crazy. I don't really contour on my nose heaps anymore. I just like to brush down the sides. Anymore. I did it in my last video. Really. And I like to bronze the fuck out of my forehead. Make my crazy hair go even crazier because yellow. Why not? Why the fuck not? Time for highlight. Yeah girl, I got you. Mary Luminizer is the best thing ever and I'm gonna use it today. Even though this highlighter like honestly does not need work at all. Can you see that? Of course you can. Because it is bomb as fuck. Like, mm -hmm. oh. like I feel like, oh my gosh, this highlighter is like goals. Mm -hmm. I really want to try um, Mac Daddy's pigments. Oh my gosh. I want to try Gold Digger and what's that one that everyone always brags about? Ugh. I honestly talk about it all the time and the one time I want to talk about it on like camera, I forget. Like how convenient. But I really just want to try them because I heard they're like bomb as fuck. Stay bomb as fuck. And if they're as good as this freaking highlighter, I'm done. Like, I'm honestly done. Now for blush today, I'm going into my 9B palette by Morphe. I haven't used this in so long, but there is so many blush like colors that I'm just like, whoa, where do I start? But I am going to go in with this one and a little bit of this and this and this and that and just mix a little colors together just because I always wear the same blush every single time and I just want to change it up. Like I just want to create something different and that's why I always never use the same blush because these blushes are pigmented as fuck and crazy. Like right now, I look like a fucking clown because it's that bright. I didn't even use like bright colors. I'm like going for those nudie mauves. What the? So I'm just using this blush to actually blend in my highlight. But it is doing a lot more than that. Moving back to the lower lash line, I'm just gonna zoom these in. Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm gonna pick up the shade. I'm going to pick up Cocoa Bear first and I'm just going to blend that on the lower lash line. I'm using my Lux Short Shader Brush to apply it. Then I'm going to go into the shade Cocoa Bear and buff that on the lower lash line. From inner corner to outer corner because that's how we roll. And then to blend the outer V's in, I'm going to use Mocha and Corrupt and just really smoke that on the outer V. I go back in that Serpentina palette and I'm going to grab this shade uh, Sake Rub. And I'm just going to buff that a little bit on the lower lash line, just connect the top lash line. And as it goes closer to the inner corner, I'm going to grab this shade Typhoon by Makeup Geek and I'm going to blend that on the inner, inner corner. It looks crazy right now having that color in my inner corner. Back in with my Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I'm going to apply that right on top. This will just really help to brighten that inner corner. For false lashes today, I'm going with my Lily Lashes in the style of Miami. Mm -hmm. 
So now that I've finished off the eyes, I zoomed you out, and now I'm just going to apply my lipstick. So my lipstick I'm going to go in with is Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Ashton. This is a liquid lipstick, and I'm absolutely in love with the colour. I think it's just full written all over it. And now that I've finished my face, I'm just going to set it down with my Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Spray and spritz my face. So that is the end of the look guys, hope you enjoyed, make sure to thumbs it up and subscribe down below and comment below and let me know what more videos you want to see, what more, can I not speak English, what other videos you want to see and I will see you in my next video, bye!